what's going on guys, it's Max T here, I'm here so today, well, this is the very first series I'm going to be making, so this is Minecraft Story Mode, I hope you guys will enjoy this, so, let's go. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> okay. The game series adapts the, to the choices you make. The story is a tomato by... Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends... Uh, guys, sorry. Okay, guys, I'm back, sorry. Let's continue. Another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Uh, it's just a hypothetical question, Jesse. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> You guys totally freaked out. That was us. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. 
As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax, it's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. We really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now... We've hated losing, but today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional, we build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah, 
I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. Prepare. Wow. so far we know what we're building we've got all the stuff for it we are so ready this year it's going to be different i'm not just ready to build i'm ready to win nice pig losers what the mm. what oh great there's lucas and the ocelots the rivalry continues man they've got match stop stop no let's be comfortable okay Fine. Leather jackets and everything. Uh, no. Okay, you know what? No. no you know what? No. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm really sorry. But you know what I have to do? We're back. Sorry, guys. But you know what I have to do? You know? I can't make this uh, high. God damn it. I have to be so lucky. Okay, let's resume. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are yes. not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa, sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders, you guys are in booth five. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Nope. Crowded. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. 
They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Oh, beacon sounds awesome. Almost as awesome as us, am I right, guys? I have no idea how we're gonna beat that. Don't leave me hanging. This might be too much for us to handle. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha! Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Pe How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. Yeah. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Before. Sorry guys, sorry. I raised... Uh, I'm evil, but still. Give it a shot. Giving it a shot. Just want to know. It will lag, of course. Wait. 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 Whoa. Handshake? We don't have a handshake. <clears throat> we'll just make one up. We'll call it the. Uh. No the, the builder bump. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. This year, the dead enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Come on. You are Q. You are Q. Come on. Q, 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 Q. Oh no! A fireworks dispenser! Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> you worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. That's nice. You are Q. Q, 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 Q. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Uh -oh. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool! Whoops! Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden that part. The lava's getting closer! It's gonna ruin the build! Ruben's going to get lost! Can I go out there? We've gotta do something! 
But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Reuben. Ah! Oof. We're right behind you. Ah. Ah. him anywhere, Reuben. The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Hmm. Can I walk around? Reuben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Just oink if you can hear me. Hmm, pig tracks. You must have run by here. Doesn't look like this fire will spread. I bet Reuben started this. I hear some pigs. Reuben, are you in there? Eggs. Reuben! No, not you, but pigs! Hey, all pigs but Reuben, shut up! Reuben! Where are you, buddy? This reminds me of the game. I don't remember, but you know when the bag is. Yeah! Jason. I just chase him. I just chase him. Hear me, boy? Reuben? Reuben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Reuben, run! I think... I think we're good. I think 
Look, we made it! Ow! Stay behind me. I got you. Stupid wooden swords! <laughs> make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town, I promise! Get out of here now! Get off me! Come on, let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. I, I, this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you better appreciate this. I guess going to the scariest place in the world is just another day at work for you, huh? Hey, if I haven't faced down death at least twice before lunch, I'm not living up to my full potential. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Hey, as long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still. It's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. Well, you're not saying no, so I'll take that as a yes. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Choose Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot! Okay, so how should I make it? So... Just place the pieces on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Think of me as a new Minecraft player. And there. Heck yeah. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Yeah. 
Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry! Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! Uh, oh, crap! Ah! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. The only way off this bridge is through them. I don't want to die! It burns! Don't you know? You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Guys, I don't know when to be turned off. I'm sorry. Sorry if I, you know, mess it up or something. Anyway, end of Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's gotta be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. But talking's what I do best. Just do me a favor and suppress your inner talent, okay? Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him either, huh? I'm sorry, Jesse. We looked everywhere. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were going to let you go after Reuben by yourself, but it's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like, a lot disappointed. The saddest of the sad sacks? Thanks for the pep talk, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but 
He's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Something about this feels off to me. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. And just who are you? I almost forgot about him. Wait, I forgot his name. I'm waiting! You know, you really shouldn't creep up on people like that. It's... It, it's creepy. Don't test me. I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now! Well... I'm a very busy man. I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Oh, yeah, Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. I'm cool if he's cool. It's settled then. You're both cool. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. We won't find him just standing around. There he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! Step aside, please! I have just one question! Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out! Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. What's up? What's up? Nothing? What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. If it hadn't, you know, burned down or whatever. You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. He's still missing, you know. Sorry. I hope you find him soon. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. 
cool, cool. Too cool for school. Coolness. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Oh man, I love this song. What's it called? Too obscure to have a name, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated, mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over, Petra did make it sound kind of serious. We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. Have you seen Reuben? I was hoping he might have made it to town while I was distracted. I haven't seen hide nor hair, but I'm sure he's fine. He's a tough little ham. Axel? All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. Ha, <laughs> I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag. That was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. It does boost the flavor something crazy, though. Aiden, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, now move. Hey. Hey, what do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. <laughs> Ruben? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the bone. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! Oh, really? Well, I found him out in the woods, so I think that makes him my pig. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. But he should cook up real nice anyway. Please, he's my friend! To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Otherwise, it's straight to the slaughterhouse for this one. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. Yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I never should have let you run off in the woods. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Tickets? <laughs> that was a good one. You should laugh. This might sound crazy, but we're actually on an important mission. I hope your mission came with tickets to the show, because, I mean, otherwise... Oh my God. 
Chicken! 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 Oh, it's gone. You're totally fine. You're a totally cool dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. Any other bright ideas? We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoo, shoo! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I'm really sorry about earlier. I honestly thought you were someone else. Apology accepted. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw oh, man, this guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. Slime. I don't have to do this. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! My precious poultry! Keep your eyes closed, they will peck at your eye! Now's Ooh. our chance! Hey! <laughs> I mean, I still need to have some high graphics on, so... Come on. Where'd he go? There! Through that door! Oh, really? Nice. Okay. What do we do once we catch him? 
There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. We politely ask for what's ours. Short, sweet, and to the point. Yep. Not bad. Yep. You ready? Ready. See anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? Looks like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. Yep. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I said we should ask politely, Axel. Yeah, but if the guy's not here, we can't ask. So I say, we take. Yeah. I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Yeah, we should hurry. Ivor could come back any minute. There's no time for looting. There's always time for looting, Jesse. Always. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Mostly stuff about brewing. Oh, hello. Uh, too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Yeah, I had to wave it at this jerkwad butcher earlier, you know, to save Reuben's life. Impressive. You're keeping it? But I thought it was too soft, too heavy. Eh, it still might come in handy. And it is super flashy. Find anything? Come on. I want to steal that and that. I just want to touch that. You want to touch a mushroom? Okay, this book fancy potion. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not going to believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, potion. I know this is a big step, but I would be honored if you'd come home. Listen, don't worry. Hey, Axel will get over it. But still, the way it all went down wasn't cool. Give it time. He'll come around. Thanks, Jesse. Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. For let's go. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! Ah! 
Come on. That's probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! We're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Uh, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Do this. All right. The dead ender's luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? Whoa. The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Yeah. 
This is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And... does it mention how? It's less technical and... well, more historical. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. It's the same as the amulet. So, so today it's pretty bad because one thing, uh, I mean two things, I mean two video files got corrupted, I'm very sorry about that, but I hope you enjoyed the rest, the rest of the um, clips that I have it from, from episode one, look, like I said, like, oh, I'm recording, see, no, not recording, but editing the video right now. I'm going to put this video file, of course, in there. But I'm really sorry. Like, look. Look. See these two? Wait, wait, wait. See these two files? This and this. These two files got corrupted for some reason. Like, no. See? So, I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed the rest of the clips. So this became 1 hour and 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Wow. That's pretty much a lot. There could be somewhere about 10 minutes more, I guess. But sorry guys. But, like, but everything went great, everything ended great and everything, yeah. I was so I feel, I feel so bad that I couldn't record the um, ending, but this is the ending, so guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, as always, stay awesome, peace.